I am one of the people that have founded the JCWA and Just Central Films, and you do not scare me. You're probably a rookie or an outsider anyways. A weakling. Pathetic. Have to hide behind masks. You know what? You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> what do these people think they are? Do they think they're intimidating wearing these masks? Do they think they're a threat to me or any veteran? Or... Oh, and then we got another one, huh? Don't you understand that I am a veteran and we are superior to you, whoever the hell you guys are? You are nothing. Ah. Now, I am here once again on Platinum Episode 4, Season 3. Good to keep up to date with you little fuckers. Look, now, I noticed that a lot of people have been wanting and requesting the diamond, so you're getting the diamond, so shut the fuck up and deal with it. So, let's get to business on why I'm here. I'm here because the last time I spoke about rankings and whatnot, but now I have to talk about a dilemma that I'm facing. And that is the fact that in here I have a position of power. And it's pretty much I build the home the way that it is. And now I'm getting yelled at by the higher ups who are constantly on my ass. Because there are some freaks in the mask running around beating the shit left and right. From fucking people at random causing fucking massive chaos. I've got people in the fucking locker room coming up to me. Saying they don't feel safe. They don't feel this. They don't feel that. It's fucking giving me a headache. So because of this situation. I'm going to deal with it. So here's what I'm going to do. On the last episode of Platinum. Which is the sixth episode I believe. Yes it is fuckers. That night. I want these individuals. To reveal to the public who they are, and who they are to me. I want them to explain their reasons for doing what they're doing in front of me. And those, well, appear if you have the balls to show up and show your faces. Because if you don't show up and show your faces, this diamond might lace up his fucking hands and his boots. And not only you gotta worry about security, I'm gonna personally kick your fucking ass out of my goddamn arena. But moving on, moving on, I always have something else I have to talk about. On the last episode of Platinum, I have concocted an idea which is to end it with a rumble. Each contender will arrive and every few minutes another individual will be brought out. And they will eliminate an individual, not by pinfall or submission, but by rather eliminating them by tossing them over the corridor. The line, the door, whatever it's going to be, fuckers. And once he's out, he's out. Now, you fuckers might be wondering, what is so important about a fucking rumble? Well, this is what's important about a rumble, okay? In a rumble, anything can happen, okay? It's not the size of the dog. Okay, you can be yay small, yay big, yay fat, yay skinny, and you can win the rumble because at any point, what all you need is stamina. How long can each individual bear being in this one match, eliminating and eliminating and eliminating until he is a sole survivor? You show us that you are very talented. You show the world that you're very talented, and guess what ends up happening? You get bigger role opportunities down the line. So, that means in this match, a legend, a rookie, an all-star, a fucking outsider, a homeless guy in the street, five fucking perverts on the corner jerking off to Miss Maddie, 
can enter this fucking match and make history. And that's because the diamond is presenting it. So enjoy the night, fuckers. I'll see you on the 6th. Oh, and by the way, on the 6th, I've got a big surprise for everybody. Ciao, y'all. The bodies of two young boys from this town was found killed just a few miles away from where I'm standing. Well, I mean, I've been meaning to ask you about that. You were with them when they died, right? He told me about what supposedly happened to Abe and Eddie. And then I saw him tell the same story on the news and there were certain details that he switched up. People in this town are so fucking brainwashed, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna have to do something about this. No fingerprints or evidence has been found and no one has come forth claiming to have seen or heard anything First and foremost, I'd like to thank Cox and Jalen for reawakening the truth that other nigga from season two was a goof. I wish we could rewrite season two so badly. But from this point on, this point right here, every veteran, every all-star, every other rookie besides me, cause y'all can't compare to the prodigy, and the outsiders, they really do not matter. Fuck them. But if I gotta be specific about it, the two niggas that attacked me, masks, y'all niggas pussy. Why y'all had to wear masks? Joseph, I'ma worry about that nigga later. Jalen and Cox, I'm coming for y'all fucking heads too. Ortiz, he don't even matter. He's irrelevant in this shit. It's my time to shine. A prodigy's time. The real break of all real breaks. But I'm done talking. I'm gonna let the action speak for itself. I'm off this. The hourglass is almost finished. Armageddon, as we know it, is arriving. Platinum Rumble is the day where you all will remember Cruz is here. The cape you wear on your back, I'll burn it. You, those rookies, and you pathetic veterans. You have your history to explain who you are, but all of you will fall before me. The JCWA Rumble is approaching. And that is when Armageddon will show its true colors. The red, the black, the white. I've seen it all. I know what it's like. I'm immortal to every single one of you. And you all will hate me for that. Oh, I promise. I promise. <laughs> No matter who it is, no matter which door, direction you come from, I'll be there to knock it down. You will fall. Well, well, well. This weather, this weather reminds me of traveling all the way to get to the basement rumble in 2014. I never thought how it would end though. Us elites, we bonded together. We had a team. We were unstoppable. 
and then Joseph would just backstab us. At the leading to the implosion and our defeat at the hands of Jalen Taylor. I saw Jalen's progress. He's been doing amazing things as an all-star at JCWA. But I can't say the same for us elites. And that defeat changed me. Made me want to do better, be a better competitor, and maybe guide the other rookies to have a better career here at JCWA. But I hope as I come back, not only would I help teach, but also help put... Uh, 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 I told y'all, no more fucking games. I bet y'all still wish I was wiping boogers on people, right? I told y'all, nobody's safe. You see your precious elite? Nobody's safe, my... That ass. Uh, what the hell? Oh, Here we go again with the whole rumble thing. I mean, what's the point? Mm. We all know I'm gonna win again. Wait, there's another rumble being being talked about right now. Yeah, he just announced it. Brian Sosa. Oh yeah. Announcing Platinum Rumble. Hmm. I mean, what's the point though? It's kind of like do I have to beat the same people again? Well, <laughs> it's hey, that's the fun part about it. You, you get in there, you kick you kick everybody's asses, and then be the last one out, which will be me this year. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. What? Okay. Uh, hey, hey. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. You couldn't beat me then, you definitely can. That's because... <sighs> okay, you know what? You got that one. I'll, I'll, I'll get yeah, you that one. But no, I was tired, okay? Excuses. Oh, you know who's not gonna win? Hmm. Joe. Oh, what happened? just happened? What? You got jumped, man. Oh, holy shit, by who? Same people that jumped John. Wow, yeah, they're, they're getting pretty ballsy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could take them all by myself, but... To be the smarter one. <laughs> you got my back. I'll got I get yours. You know. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? At the rumble, there won't be no bags to cover. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna win it. Yeah, sure. Alright. Ah, awesome. Zombie, Zombie Air, right? Oh yeah, the, the, the move that we jumped last time. Uh, it seems like you made a nice recovery. I've been hearing some things there, even though I don't really pay attention. But uh, in your case, that's okay. You don't really matter. Man. You're just an idiot. You, know, you just go around wiping boogers on people and being a total jackass to everyone. And how does it feel being a clown? Okay, <laughs> clown. Clown? Did you just call me a clown? That's the one thing I'm far from. You still think season two? That don't count. I keep telling y'all that. Did you not see what I did to Christian Pagan earlier? A veteran by myself? And you still have to have Jalen's help to be Aaron. Y'all was talking about the, the Rumble. The Rumble? I'm gonna win the Rumble. I should have won the 2014 Rumble. But that mishap at Genocide happened. That goofy nigga was not me. I keep telling y'all that. That was a body switch, a clone. That wasn't me. So that's the best excuse you got. As in some clone just took over you and you... It happens. You're an idiot. You're not gonna... You know what, just... Come on, man. Don't do that bullshit. I don't wanna hear it. Oh. 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 Oh.
Coming back from a loss like that at genocide isn't always easy. It was a big lose for me. Um, I said I quit. I lost the match. Got angry after that match. I left. I never came back. I, I looked at that. Never came back after that match. I never looked back. I was angry. I was bitter. I, I couldn't believe that I uttered the words I quit because that's not who I am. I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. I like to leave an impact where I'm at. But I left, made my return at the Christmas gauntlet, came back for platinum, and it's like starting over in a way, you know? Getting attacked over and over. But finally, some good news came to light. Finally, I am now recognized as a veteran, I'm an all star. And at the Platinum Rumble, I'm gonna make my impact. I'm gonna win that match. You know why? Because I need that win. I need to prove to everyone that I am, I'm, I came back, I'm a veteran. I'm an all-star, I belong with everyone. I'm, I belong at the top. But once that's done, once I win, Describe how I feel, alright? Those punks and masks attacked me from behind. I was just minding my own business, taking a stroll through the park, and they attacked me. A veteran. Do you know? Do they know? Does anybody out here remember who the hell I am? I am Joseph Torres. I started this damn thing. Well, you know I'm a veteran too. And I'm still getting treated the same way. Oh, but the only difference is you got attacked by one person in a mask. I got jumped by two. And yeah, I know you've had some hurdles and things like that, but that doesn't compare at all up to what I had to go through and what I had to go up against. You understand? So excuse me, as someone that has been a veteran for such a long time, when you just became a veteran, that I don't seem very happy, Peachy, and I'm not going to get over it because these newbies, outsiders, and rookies think they can do whatever the hell they want, and I am sick of it. They cannot treat people like me like stepping stones because I am a stepping stone for nobody. So is there anything else you wanted to talk about? I might know who you I might... I might have an idea who what it could be, and I'm gonna pay them a visit soon. I'm gonna deal with them next episode. Next episode? Yes. Ooh, Jonathan Ortiz, you're gonna be a big tough guy now, huh? I hope you're gonna be a big tough guy in the Platinum Rumble as well, because let's not forget the last time we were in a Rumble together, who eliminated who? Well, things are different now. Things are different now, so you're a new Jonathan Ortiz, huh? Well, the only way to prove it is to show it. And you know what? That guy that you think is one of the people or whoever that's responsible for these people in masks attacking people like me, you better hope and he better hope that you get to him first. Because if I get to him first, I'm going to make it so much worse. Peace, future icon. I'll see you at the rumble. one of those weirdos that be wearing those oh okay I see where this is going well guess what <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but...